All right, we are in number five of our virtual classes here at Flow Yoga Studio. And one of the things that's coming up in conversation with people is the fact that this is really starting to sink in. And I think it's throwing people off, it's throwing people off schedule. And some people are becoming discouraged or lazy or sluggish or just kind of out of it. And um, we all go through that. We don't want to dwell on that for too long. And so today's flow will focus on the foundation of your practice, going back to that simplicity of some sun A's, some sun B's, not too much craziness or distraction, but rather just some breath, some movement, you know, lighting yourself up from the inside out, getting that focus, getting that inner desire, and taking action from there. So we'll go right into it. Um, we're gonna do some sun A's, some sun B's, keeping things simple, remember? And then after that, we'll maybe have you know some fun with some transitions or some balance poses or whatever. Yeah, and remember, you can pause the video, you can fast forward, rewind, you know, take a Shavasana at the end if you can, two, three minutes. Um, don't let that pass you by because it is such an important part of the practice. All right, we're gonna start in downward facing dog here. Now, if you want, you can take a child's pose or a rag doll, or maybe lay in your back in Shavasana. Give yourself that minute or two to get centered. You know, down dog feels really good at the beginning of your practice. It's a way to get your footing, to get your hand placement. And then once you're good, you feel that incredible stretch in the back of the legs. You feel that incredible stretch on the sides of your body. You know, being cooped up in the house like we are or in the office, it's, uh, it's tough. Our muscles get very tight and our mind is, um, can get tight as well. All right, so like we discussed, we're gonna go right into our sun salutations here. Raise your heels, bend your knees, and walk up to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms high, stretch through your fingers, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high plank, Hold here. All right, so this first high plank, nothing crazy. Come back to the foundation. Your bones, your joints, your muscles are aligned. Your breath is becoming more and more confident. Slide forward on the tiptoes, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath or two here, and then we're going right back in. Raise your heels, bend your knees, walk to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms high, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Now remember, sun salutations get flexibility going, get strength going, but they also fire you up from the inside out. And you know, it could be that during this whole situation, we need that right now. Raise your heels, bend your knees, walk to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms high, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna do one more round together and then one round on your own. Raise your heels, bend
Bend your knees, walk or hop to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms high, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. All right, this final round, you'll take a sun salutation all by yourself, your breath and your rhythm. Really nice job, everybody. And remember that, you know, the vinyasa is the high plank, low plank, up dog, down dog. If that's a little too rigorous on your body or you don't have, you know, the strength built yet, you can just step right back to down dog. All right, come to a high plank. You thought that those Adam push-ups were going away, but not quite yet. Let's take a low plank, high plank, 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 and then one for good luck. Low plank, high plank, and downward facing dog. Raise the heels, bend the knees, walk or skip to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, Ukatasana. Feel your feet in the ground. Feel the muscles around your knees. You can take your arms up into the sky. Maybe today it feels nice to cactus your arms, stretching open the chest. Maybe you draw the palms together center, very easy going variation. And choose what you want to choose. Make a choice. And then take a nice deep breath in and forward fold. Exhale. Inhale, halfway lift and high to low plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up into the sky. And then step your right foot forward for warrior one. Back foot goes flat here. Again, feeling your feet pressing into the ground. Lunging into the front leg, but not too far. Arms reaching to the sky. Being really patient with your body, not pushing things too hard. Take a nice deep breath in and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg, take it to the sky and step your left foot forward for warrior one. Okay, back foot is flat, hips are nice and square. You take the arms up. Feel that little bit of electricity through the fingertips. Take a nice deep breath in and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. So like we talked about at the beginning of class, our theme is not so much about the crazy flows or, you know, flashy poses, but it's more of just coming back to that 
Simple, strong, foundational practice. Sun A and Sun B. So let's take it a couple rounds through here. Raise your heels, bend your knees, walk or hop to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, Ukatasana, one breath in. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. High to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg, take it to the sky. Step your right foot forward for your one. Cruising up on the inhale. And high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg, take it to the sky. Step your left foot forward, warrior one. Rising up on the inhale. And high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Yeah, now in between sets, if you want to toss in some push-ups or some mountain climbers or side planks, that might challenge your practice. That might get you, you know, a little extra sweat. But let's do another round. Raise your heels. Bend your knees. Walk or hop to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And forward fold. Exhale. Chair pose. Ukatasana. Inhale. Forward fold. Exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. And high to low plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg, take it to the sky. Step your right foot forward, warrior one. Blossoming up on the inhale. And high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Excellent work, left leg, take it to the sky. Step your left foot forward, warrior one. Rising up on the inhale. And high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. So there's a concept in yoga called tapas. And what that means is that you're burning away the tension, the toxin, the stiffness so that you can open up more fully to how your body is designed to feel. Maybe it's a sense of presence. Maybe it's more, you know, feeling authentic in your body and your mind, right? Kind of burns away some of the junk in our mind. We want to be appreciative for that internal heat. Let's go one more round. Raise your heels, bend your knees, walk or skip to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, Ukatasana, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg, take it to the sky, step your right foot forward, warrior one. Rocking it out on the inhale, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg, take it to the sky, step your left foot forward, warrior one. Bursting up on the inhale, and high to low plank, Chaturanga exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, Downward facing dog. Give yourself three deep breaths here. If you have to let out a big sigh or maybe a lion's breath, or maybe you gotta let out like a good cry. You know, maybe you've just been holding on to emotions and it's time to just kind of let go and let things out a little bit. All right, come into a high plank here. 
and then we're going to work a little variation. It's right knee to right tricep. Staying exactly as you are, you'll take your right knee to your right wrist. Staying exactly as you are, your right knee to your left wrist, to your left tricep, and then back to the right tricep. Down to the right wrist, left wrist, left tricep, right tricep, and keep this pattern going all by yourself. These are called boxed mountain climbers. Very good for the abs and the shoulders, and you want to keep your shoulders above your wrists in good alignment. And these will get tough. But you know what? Sometimes when the going gets tough, you got to push yourself to break through a little bit. So five, four, three, two, and one. Downward facing dog. Whew. Raise your heels, bend your knees, walk or hop to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold. Exhale. Step your left foot to the back of the mat for a good old fashioned crescent lunge. Back heel is up, make sure your feet are planted well. Okay, and then, yeah, sometimes you might be a little wobbly, you gotta Make sure everything is set in place, your foundation as they call it. We'll step up here a little bit so you can see me better. And then you'll take your arms up into the sky, draw your palms together at heart center, and then prayer twist to the right. Okay, the back leg is straight and strong. If you need to drop the back knee to the ground, you can. Keep the palms pressing firmly together and really stretch your arms wide. This is an amazing twist in your midsection and it's strengthening your upper back. Now stay with me here. We're going to do a little variation. Staying exactly as you are with that right foot down. Step your left foot up to meet the right for chair prayer twist. Okay, the legs are heating up now. If you want, you can stretch the arms wide open. Maybe a little side throw if you have that in your practice. And then slowly stand up tall as you hug that left knee up and in. As you take it to either warrior three or airplane pose. Okay. Hips are square, little lift in the chest. You're so gentle in your eyes. Now revolve half moon, left fingertips down, right fingertips up. Make sure that back leg is lifting a little bit. And then balancing half moon. So right fingertips down, left limbs will reach up high. If you need a little challenge, you can take your eyes up to the sky and then left foot meets the right. Inhale, halfway lift and forward fold. Exhale. Step the right foot to the back of the mat for warrior two pose. Okay, just nice long stance. Arms are straight here. Just stay with me for a second. I just want to adjust this. I'm kind of trying to get the best view for you guys here, guys and gals. All right, arms are straight. Okay, and then straighten the left leg. Rotate your left toes to the right side of the room. And then interlace your fingers at your low back. Inhale, open your chest up. And then forward fold. Keep the fingers. All right. Embracing our inversion, you know, this whole upside down thing can be good for our point of view. 
good for calming down your mind, turning down the volume or some of the distraction in your mind. And then fingertips to the ground, inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms high, and then warrior two to the front of the room. Keeping your left knee bent, reverse the warrior. Take a nice big stretch to side angle pose. Okay, left fingertips down, right fingertips high. Feel your hips stretch, feel your chest stretch. And then, oh, by the way, we can work a bind here. So you take your right arm behind your back, and then see if you can reach your left arm underneath your left leg and hook your right fingers to the left fingers. Very energetic in the legs, nice chest opener here. If you're hunching forward real hard like this, see if you can open up in the chest a little bit. Breathe, and then keeping the left knee bent, you'll reverse the warrior, come back up, and then hide to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Keep your breath intact. I hope you all are having a good practice. Maybe this will take you out of some of the stressors of the day. You'll come into a high plank now, okay? Now remember these boxed mountain climbers. So it's left knee, left tricep, to left wrist, to right wrist, to right tricep, left tricep, left wrist, right wrist, right tricep, and then you keep that pattern going all by yourself. Yeah, these are tough. They're gonna work your abs. They're gonna work your shoulders. You might be grunting a little bit, trying to catch your breath, but sometimes that's how life is. You can get a little out of sorts and you gotta learn how to navigate and push through. Five, four, three, Two, and downward facing dog. Whew. And then raise your heels, bend your knees, and walk or float to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Step your right foot to the back of the mat for a crescent lunge here. Okay, taking the arms up high. Soften into your chest a little bit. And then draw your palms together at heart center and prayer twist to the left. You know, it's hopefully you're eating some good food and drinking lots of water, but you know, in quarantine mode, sometimes you're reaching for the snacks or the junk, and that's like extra work on the body, and these twists can really help. All right, now staying exactly as you are, grounding down in that left foot, you'll step your right foot up to meet the left. So now you're in your chair prayer twist. Uh, if you want, you can stretch the arms open or maybe that really nice uh, side crow you have in your practice. And then slowly stand up tall as you pull the right knee up and in to either Warrior three or airplane pose. Again, keeping things simple, a strong foundation. If you fall out, be compassionate to yourself. So right fingertips down, left fingertips high. This is revolve half moon. Twisting and turning. It's a balancing half moon, left fingertips down. And now right wings up. If you want to take your eyes up to the ceiling, you can play around with that concept. Maybe a deep breath. I take those, uh, if you come to the studio, you know, I take those all the time, I love them. And then right foot meets the left, inhale, halfway lift, 
and forward fold, exhale. Step your left foot to the back of the mat for warrior two. Focusing your gaze for three solid breaths. And then straighten your right leg, rotate your right toes to the left side of the room, and then take your heels in and your toes out as we go into what's called horse pose. This is a deep squat here. Better. Yeah, you, you try to get your thighs just about parallel to the ground. You can bring your palms together at heart center. You can take your arms up. Right. Celebrate good times. Come on. Right. Trying to find that inner celebration with all this craziness. This is good for your ankles and your shins, your knees tailbone, your core is holding itself up, you know, maybe you just kind of sway side to side a little bit, or maybe you just stillness right now, you're not looking to really mess around, you just, stillness and presence. By now, you know, the legs are probably burning a little bit. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Root back into the foundation of your practice, the simple fundamentals, a little breath, a little drishti, a little calmness. All right, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, straighten the legs, sweep the arms up, and forward fold, exhale, there it is. That deep forward fold, should feel good in the hamstrings and the butt muscles. I like to sway side to side. You can bring your fingertips to the back of the room. And then fingertips to the ground, inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms up, and palms to heart center, exhale. You can take that warrior two back to the front of the room, Right, and then keeping the right knee bent, reverse the warrior into side angle pose. Right fingertips down, left fingertips high. We've got about six to eight breaths here. If you want, you can hit that full bind. And a lot of times the chest will dump toward the ground like this. That's just kind of a flexibility thing. Just work on lifting up your chest a little bit more towards the side of the room or up towards the ceiling. You're in a very physical bind right now, but you're teaching yourself how to relax and how to breathe. It's a very hard skill to hone at times. So just keep practicing. And then keeping the right knee bent, reverse the warrior, come back up, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Take three deep breaths here. Okay, and then drop to the knees. We're gonna work into uh, camel pose. Knees are about hips width distance. You'll tuck the toes under. And then you'll either hold your low back in place as you lift your sternum up stretching open the chest and the throat, or you can play around with your flexibility and see if you can get the heels. And then you'll lift your chest up toward the sky. And then downward facing dog. Just palms to the ground, you'll step back to that down dog. And then raise the heels, bend the knees, walk or hop to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms high, and then palms to heart center, 
exhale. All right, we're gonna work a balancing pose real quick. All right, so it's, uh, your right foot is down, you're gonna pull your left knee into your chest, and then you'll either take your left hand to your left knee, whoops, sorry, left hand to left knee and just hold there, build your abs and build your core, or you can take your two piece fingers on the left hand, loop the left big toe, and then you'll either take your left leg straight or you can extend your left leg out to the left side of the room. So this is called standing big toe pose. A lot of work in the hamstrings. You'll come back to center, maybe just a little pedal in the knees. And then you'll take the right knee up here. Either hold the right knee, build your foundation always from the ground up, or you can take that right big toe And then you'll take your standing big toe pose. Oh. And if you fall out, just keep practicing. Well done, sweep the arms up, full breath in, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and hide to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. So drop to the knees. We're going to do one more round of that camel, that chest opener. Get solid in the knees. Hold your low back in place. Lifting up. Letting in the oxygen. Letting go of any resentment nervousness in your chest. Maybe you go back to the heels here. And then back to center, downward facing dog. Stretch back through your legs, maybe a little pedal in the knees. And we drop down to the knees. This is basically the conclusion of our practice today. So you could do um, your hip openers here. You can take a little stretch on each side. You know, half pigeon maybe is good today. We worked, you know, hips um, or a double pigeon maybe or a butterfly stretch. And then if, you know, you want to toss in some more abs or those box mountain climbers, get a little extra sweat at your house. Um, and yeah, if you want to close out with, you know, like a little short, brief meditation into a Shavasana or you can just do a one or two minute shavasana. You know that's really important as a sign of you know respect and admiration for your practice. So, thank you again for joining me, um, joining the studio. Um, I know that we all miss you very much, um, and thank you again for all your generosity. And even in those moments when you feel like crap, just you know be nice to yourself and, and keep your foundation going. All right. See everybody.